Hi everyone, it's Justine. I'd like to thank Organic Basics for supporting this episode. In Berlin, it's fall, aka time to get into cozy mode. <laughs> That's when I start using my favorite blanket on the couch again. My book consumption increases, my tea consumption as well. <laughs> it's the pre-hibernation phase. Mostly, it means that it's time for a wardrobe switch. I don't replace everything in my closet though, only a few strategically chosen pieces, and that's enough to turn a summer wardrobe into a full one. In today's video, I wanna share five tips that help me do that pragmatically without a headache. <laughs> and then I will show you a wardrobe checklist or structure that you are absolutely welcome to copy and use if you'd like to. Point number one, the color palette for four. The first big question, I think, is always which color palette do I want this fall? I need to feel something new, but I don't know what. <laughs> Here I'm assuming that you already have a certain preference in terms of color. Maybe a specific color that you know you really enjoy wearing and suit you well. Maybe even a dominant color in your capsule wardrobe already. If not, that's okay. Um, if you think my wardrobe just has no logics in terms of color and I'm not sure where it's going, <laughs> go watch this video first. That will help you find your colors and then come back here. Now, for this video, I'm assuming that your summer wardrobe looked a little bit like this. You had some white and some beige, maybe some florals, some denim for good measure. Yellow was the color of the summer, so I'm just gonna assume that you had a couple of yellow garments in there. <laughs> I'm not putting all the garments you would actually have in your closet that would be more than this. I'm just showing the general feeling of it. Now, the method consists in replacing just some pieces while keeping the overall color theme, which you know you already like, while making your entire capsule feel new. It's not as hard as it sounds. First way of doing it, if you wore light yellow, you can add a sweater, which is yellow, but a more intense yellow, more chroma. It will go well with the same jeans and the same other garments you use to combine your light yellow top with, but your entire outfit will look and feel warmer. And by this, I mean more, more fall appropriate. That's the first way. Second way, starting from the same light yellow, you go for a color which is close on the color wheel so that your light yellow and the new color look harmonious when you wear them together. For instance, a warm brown, mustard, sand, camel, that kind of thing. Third way of proceeding, you take your summer color and you add black to it. This works for any color, really, by the way. With one of these three techniques, you can keep wearing all the colors you had in summer. You're just really, you're keeping the theme, you're just stretching that yellow into more full, warmer, cozier territory, if that makes sense. Now, if you did want to get completely rid of that yellow and go for a new accent color for fall, you could do that too. You would just take out all the pieces that are yellow or contain some yellow, even that floral dress, even if yellow is not the only color there, you would replace them by garments that have the new color. If you keep that floral dress thinking, Ah, yellow is not the only color, you will find that it doesn't really work with the new colors, the new pieces that you're introducing into your wardrobe for fall, and you would end up not wearing that dress so much anymore. So you'd be wasting one out of the 33 pieces that you have in your capsule. That would be a pity. <laughs> okay, that was about editing your color palette. Tip number two, adding tights and leggings. That's the easiest trick. You keep wearing your summer dresses, skirts and shorts, just with tights. What I do is that I start with light tights that are close to my skin tone. I even have thinner ones and thicker ones for different temperatures, so I'm flexible. Towards October, I move on to opaque tights. There is black, but not only. Here too, you could technically use tights that are in a color slightly more intense, darker or blacker than the summer dress or skirt you're pairing the tights with, just to bring in also here that fall feeling, just like we did with the actual garments. Then in November, December, when it gets freezing cold, at least where I live, I replace the tights by long leggings because they are thicker and I wear super thick socks in my winter boots. I wouldn't wear tights in winter boots because I get blisters. Terrible. I don't know about you, but I know I can't. <laughs> Tip number three, layering for the three-piece season. You know, in summer, you put on a top, a bottom, you're dressed. 
or maybe even one dress, and that's already a full outfit. How practical when you are doing a capsule and you have a limited number of pieces in your wardrobe. Then comes fall, and you need to put more on. So a third piece is adding the flexibility that you need. You know, you get rain, sun, fog, and storms within the same day. So you can just put that third layer on, take it off, put it back on, etc. It means that you can still wear your summer clothes and just add one layer on top. You don't need to multiply your closet by three and you don't need to replace everything you already own. A summer top and a cardigan, for instance, you already have the top, you only need to find the cardigan. You don't have to turn to chunky winter knits quite yet. You can really get more wear out of the summer clothes that you already own. So let's do that. <laughs> what are good third pieces to look for? For instance, a blazer, a leather jacket or vegan leather jacket, a cardigan that you could style with a belt to just make it look completely different using the same piece. It's a versatile garment. A scarf. I will link here and down below my previous video on how to tie a scarf. 20 different ways, very versatile as well, or a poncho or a cape. Capes are key items for this fall season if you watch my video on fashion trends. Number four, focus on fall fabrics and textures. You know, there are some fabrics that scream fall because they're just so cozy and warm and soft to touch, but they're still very breathable, you know, for that in-between season. That works for fall and for spring, by the way. So great fabrics to look for this season are Cotton gabardine, it's a thick twill, so woven fabric, very tight, often used to make trousers and in tailoring. It is warm by default because that's the way it's woven. Then lyocell jersey. Lyocell is a very thin fiber. It can be knitted extremely tightly. So it's warm and it's also draping very well, <laughs> but it still breathes extremely well, better than cotton. Then wool, specifically, cashmere and merino wool. Wool in general will keep you warmer or cooler depending on the outside temperature. It's a fiber that literally adapts to the outside temperature. Cashmere is particularly warm and merino particularly soft compared to standard wool. If you're vegan, instead of wool, you will opt for acrylic and mode acrylic. I've done a separated video on vegan fashion and materials. And then if you need new sports clothes, I would prefer nylon over polyester. It is more resistant, um, it holds you tighter, so to speak, especially if it's for sports clothes, very relevant, and it also lasts longer through washes. On top of playing with the materials, you can play with the textures. For instance, a jacquard made on a machine can still look a bit like crochet work. You see this one is warm, but still very airy, perfect for an in-between season. Tweed, typical Chanel fabric, can come in a dominant color, but with little threads of other colors, accent colors, or even other, completely other materials like raffia, lurex threads, etc. And then faux fur, that is usually a knitted basis, so it's even very comfortable and a little bit stretchy when you wear it. And the hairs are almost always in synthetic fibers. It's not as warm as real fur, so it's good already for fall, not just for winter. It's also a lot more environmentally friendly <laughs> than real fur. You can totally put together a monochromatic look, one color throughout, but different textures. That's advanced level, very elegant. Tip number five, the footwear switch. <laughs> no more naked toes. We need close shoes in fall. So here is how I do it. I take out all my shoes. I look at the range, I sort out all the sandals, and I replace them by boots that are comfortable enough for me to be able to walk all day in them. Imperative. And they will follow me also into winter. So these boots are for six months, not just three. A good basis to start with can be one pair of black flat boots, uh, rounded or pointed to whatever you prefer, one pair of brown flat boots, one pair of black boots with heels, one pair of brown boots with heels. I'm still looking for that one and I'm happy to take any suggestion of comfortable brown boots with heels. If you don't like brown, I would advise you take the black ones, but you could replace brown by the dominant color in your wardrobe. If you find shoes in the matching color, that'd be great. And then all the rest of, of my range, I keep from summer. So that's loafers, ballet flats, sneakers, etc. 
Now, taking all these tips into account, this is what your entire capsule wardrobe for fall could look like. I plan with 33 pieces, that's for tops, over tops and bottoms. Here is what I changed compared to summer. For the tops, I have less blouses and more knitted tops. And these knitted tops are more the long sleeve turtleneck type. They are proper winter tops, not just summer airy mini knits. <laughs> for the over tops, I add one thin cashmere sweater. I keep the same amount of cardigans, blazers and jackets as the previous season. For the bottoms, I subtract one skirt, but I'm adding two pairs of pants that are in jeans. Jeans are separate. I keep one summer dress to do some layering, and I add one knitted dress with a turtleneck, which will follow me into winter as well. Underwear remains exactly the same, no difference in the season. Shoes, no sandals, no stilettos, as I just explained. I'm introducing boots and adding one pair of closed toe flats. Accessories, I'm adding one scarf and raising one necklace. Three scarves aren't too many if you want to match them with your outfits or use them as an accent color. I add a coat for when the trench coat won't be warm enough anymore. And I added loungewear to the template because in winter, when I come home, I shower and then I change clothes. It really marks for me the cut between working day and evening off. I often wear leggings and socks when I'm at home. My house is completely shoe free now. You just don't notice because you see me only until here <laughs> in my videos but if you like my socks and my leggings and also this long sleeve top here they're all in GR certified recycled nylon which means that they are more resistant and when you move in this clothes you really feel the difference the fabric is also and that's special treated with silver salt which you might have heard of from the odorants it protects against odors so when you exercise in these clothes, you will notice that they smell clean for much longer. I don't think you want more details. So I'll just tell you it's yoga approved. I tried. <laughs> the brand is called Organic Basics. They work essentially with recycled materials, which is great. And since they are sponsoring this video, you can get 15% off your order if you use the code that I put in the video description. In this so-called silver tech range, which is the one I'm wearing, there are leggings, sport bras, tops and socks. They also have another range made in organic cotton, also really cool. Feel free to browse because the discount applies to the entire website with no minimum order amount. If you want more info on the topic of capsule wardrobe, I will link my previous videos here in the corner, as well as the video on four fashion trends and the one on 20 different ways of tying a scarf. I think that's it. <laughs> Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel before you go watch something else. I will see you extremely soon in a new video. And until then, take care.